All right, this is another job opportunity for y'all who are interested in this kind of stuff. We're talking about IT security is my main focus, but every now and then I get jobs for other stuff. Um, this is one of those times. This is a vulnerability patching job in, I think, Texas. But while we're waiting for that, you should know that I have a cybersecurity course which talks about how to get into cybersecurity, how to re work remotely, and how to make si up to six figures. Not for the faint of heart. It's not a magic bullet. It's, it's, there's no magic. It's just hard work, but I tell you where to navigate yourself to get yourself to a place where you will never have to beg, borrow, or steal a job ever again because this market right here, cybersecurity, is hot and it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. You're constantly in need in this particular workforce. It's amazing. It's been amazing. My life has changed because of this and I can honestly say that it's been a blessing for me and my family. Being in cybersecurity has been a blessing. Uh, it was it was worth all the hard work. You know, I went and got a degree. I went and got experience for this stuff. I went and got certifications for this stuff. And the thing is, what I'm saying to you is that you can do the same thing. If you're interested in cybersecurity, you can do this. Anyone can do it. Um, it does take hard work. It's not easy. You will have challenges. I would say everybody can do it, but it's not for everyone. Like everybody's not going to enjoy enjoy this work, right? So that's that's what I'm kind of saying here. All right. So here here I have it. Vulnerability management and security patching in Santa Ana, California and Austin, Texas. So it's in two locations. And this is coming from, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name, <laughs> Bajrang. Uh, my name is Bajrang and I work for Enterprise Solutions Inc. And I just located your email online and thought you might be a good fit for this position. If you're interested, send me your resume at the following email address and I'm gonna put those in the description below so you can get it there and here's my number okay so we're just gonna kinda of go through this to give you an idea of what this job entails and then if you're interested in this you can stop the video right now and just go straight down to the bottom and and uh, grab the description or contact this person job description is vulnerability management and security patching right I think it does exactly what it, the title says for once Santa Ana California and Austin Texas a competencies infra and data security client vulnerability management i'm not sure what they're talking about with infra except to say that maybe they do a little bit of threat assessment but i could be wrong okay essential skills is endpoint so now they're talking about a very specific tool that you need to know the endpoint security engineer is what they're looking for uh the endpoint security engineer will support and maintain applied materials endpoints and security infrastructure globally so I think that they're talking about endpoint protection is like it's from semantic a semantic product so I'm thinking that that's what they're talking about but they in below below here in the description they should tell us a little bit more about what they mean by endpoint if it's a specific product or what okay so let's keep reading in this role the candidate will primarily be responsible for vulnerability management and third-party patching. The duties include investigate and triage, a triage threats or vulnerabilities for various sources such as NVD, CVE, and third-party vendors such as Microsoft, analyzing and scanning network system and security vulnerability configuration issues and including impact assessments and relevant industry standards. And they give an example of SCAP, CVE, CVSS identify and implement solutions uh, to remediate vulnerabilities and security risks responsible for patching software and hardware assessments and includes Microsoft third-party software firmware patching maintain a high patching policy level and then the role description is pretty much the same thing it looks like the same the same stuff in there so let me just kinda sum this up kinda put it in layman's terms First off, if this job is for you, like I won't have to explain what NVD is or CVE or any of that stuff, right? And I'll put descriptions below if you actually just want to learn more. Then I'll put descriptions to what those things are. It's a vulnerability database, essentially. That's what it is. But this, I can give you like a layperson's practical guide of what this is asking for because this is stuff that I do. I work with the people who do this uh, on a daily basis. And um, that what we do is we get vulnerabilities we find vulnerabilities in our environment right in different ways 
one is the the vendor be it Microsoft or Red Hat Corporation or um, or a Symantec or whatever tool we happen to be using they will send a patch they'll say okay this patch has been released on Tuesday or Thursday or Friday whenever we sent these patches out and, and these are critical vulnerabilities or these are moderate vulnerabilities right so we get them and then our our uh, admin guys our engineers they start to uh, implement those patches right and, and there's a process they can't just if they implement some of them, it'll break stuff so you gotta you, there's a process where they have to test it first in a safe environment, like a testing environment, and they say, okay, this didn't break anything, let's go ahead and implement it. Let's roll it out. They roll it out, right? So there's a process for that. So that's one way that we find it. Patching from vendors. That's what they're talking about in this first one. Third party patching. From Microsoft, from Cisco, from whoever, from whoever uh is we're we're working with. The next thing, the other places that we get it is from scans. So we'll have a vulnerability scanner uh such as um Nessus, that's the most popular one right now that the that, uh, federal government's using. They'll scan, we'll scan the network, like our whole enterprise or, or as much as we can possibly touch. And then we'll, and then the scan will say, okay, you've got X amount of highs, lows, and mediums, right? And then we work together to fix them. We say, okay, we're going to first fix these mediums because those are the high, or these highest highs because these are the highest. And um, we'll go ahead and fix those. And then we move on to the moderates and then the lows or whatever like we have a patching process for that another way that we find vulnerabilities is is uh, end of life software like the software or hardware is no longer supported by the vendor that can be an issue um, there's, there's just many ways that you find these vulnerabilities and you have to patch them be it hardware firmware or hard uh, or software that's what they're talking about there and you're working with a team, nine times out of ten, working with a whole team together to get these things patched. Okay, so that's that. They kind of repeat the same thing here, so I won't reread that. I'm trying to find some new, some new data here, but it looks like they just basically copy and pasted it three times. <laughs> so I don't know. The first one pretty much gives a great bit of information, and then there's contact information below which I'll put in the description if you're interested in this patching job. They're requesting six to eight years of experience, but to be honest with you, if you really know this stuff and you only have three years of experience and you're just a top-notch guy, you can go in there, you could probably get away with less than six to eight years, but it depends on the, on the, on the contract. It depends on, sometimes they really need you to have six to eight years, so it depends. All right, guys, that's it. This, this is a solid job, it looks like. Really, very clear clear uh, job that uh, this one looks this one looks pretty good I don't know how much they pay or anything anyway that's it guys go ahead and um, contact them if, you, if you're interested or you can learn more I'm gonna put the uh, NVD and all the patching stuff down below to where you can get an idea of what CVE means what CVSS means and what SCAP means and all that kind of stuff will be in the description below but if you're interested in getting to this like I said before you can go to this link up here or down here I don't know where I'm gonna put it maybe up here you can go to that link and you can find out more information about becoming a cybersecurity professional a uh, security compliance professional where I talk in depth about this kinds of stuff about how to get into this career field not technical it's not I'm not breaking down how to how to uh, start a, a Cisco router I'm not I'm not taking you into command line and telling you how to patch uh, a, a Microsoft server from the command line or anything like that. This is telling you how to get into this market. This is telling you how to get into this career field that I'm in, uh, cybersecurity, and then how to make more money in it, you know. And then I also have another one where I'm talking about how to do this job remotely because there's a lot of remote jobs doing IT. So that's it, guys. See you on the next one.